Hi friends, um, this is your friend Golden Makeup Brush and I'm back with the eye makeup video. Uh, I'm going to be doing the look that's on my eyes today and I've already done my face makeup and I've applied the um, eye primer. I actually used my concealer today as my eye primer. So I'm going to dive directly into the eye look I'm wearing today. Look I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be using uh, two Morphe palettes. Uh, this one is 35N. This is basically I'll use for uh, my crease. And then I'm going to be using 35B. Basically there's one color I want to use in this palette. To create the look for today so let's get started I'm going to be taking a E23 brush from Morphe and I want a very slight brown crease so I'm going to start with this shade I'm taking it on my E23 brush and I'm buffing it slightly above the crease. You see, it's a very soft color. Again, I'm using the swiping and small circular motion to give this color. When I look up, I should be able to see the color slightly above my crease. I think I have enough color now. I'm just going to buff it. Then I'm going to take a slightly dark color. This color. Uh, unfortunately, these colors don't have any names, so I'm going to have to show you what I'm doing. And I'm putting this with the same brush, but slightly below where I put the earlier color. And I'm blending it downwards. I don't want this color to completely cover the color we put earlier onto the other eye. So it's slightly below that and then blend it inwards. And I'm going to take a Morphe E17 brush and I'm going to take this color a very dark neutral brown. I'm going to put this in my crease now. Not above the crease, not below the crease, in the crease and on the outer corner of the eye. And I took very little color. Trust me, I just dabbed my brush. Uh, we're going to go back and diffuse this a little bit because it's a little, it's a little too strong for my liking. I'm going to take a little bit of the first color we used. And on to the other eye.
trust me when I say I'm barely dipping in the color. These shadows are very, very pigmented. Now that we have um, our crease done, I'm going to be doing the lid color. And this is the color from the 35B palette. This is this pinky mauve purple color I wanted to use. Basically, I'm matching colors to my lip color. I'm doing a mono kind of a look. Again, I'm doing the swiping and patting on the lid. This is a beautiful color and I can say I've used this color the most as a lid color from this palette. I'm going it. I'm taking it all the way to the end of the lid. For the other arm, you have to work these colors in and build, but trust me, once it builds, it look beautiful. You can use a little bit of uh, makeup setting spray to intensify the color. Um, I do that sometimes, but uh, only when I'm looking for a very, very intense look. Otherwise, I'm usually happy with the Morphe brushes eyeshadows. There's a little bit of fallout because I was building the color. We have our uh, lid ready. I'm going to use this Plum Nature Studio All Day Wear Cold Kajal in my lower line, or waterline, as well as I'm going to tight line with this. You can see we have a little bit of the lid color under the lower lash line. I wouldn't worry about that too much now because I'm going to smudge it in a minute. Going back to my 35N palette and going with the second color we used in the crease. I'm going to use that to smoke out the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the darkest color, just a dab, and on the outer edge of the lower lash line. I'm going to take the E17 brush one more time, and the dark color, and I'm just going to put it on the outer edge of the eye. I felt when we put the lid color, we just kind of lost it a little bit. That's it for the eye look. I'm going to do a wing liner, a small wing, a wing black liner, and I'm using a, what is this? NYC High Definition Liquid Liner Pen. This is how it looks. I've recently got it and I've been loving this liner. I'm going to attempt to do a liner on the camera. In case that doesn't work out, I'm going to do it off camera and come back.
is the finished look. I did the liner on my other eye off camera and uh, then I curled my lashes and applied mascara. I used the volume million, million extra black lashes by L'Oreal on my upper eyelashes. And for the lower lash, I used the Maybelline Lash Discover. This particular mascara has a very uh, small, thin wand, which I really like for my lower lashes. Like, I feel it covers each and every lash nicely. So, here is the finished look for you. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.